What's going on, good people? I'm back and I want to talk to you about what's going on with P. Diddy right now. What is going on with P. Diddy? Diddy, I've been sitting back. I haven't made content about you. When I see you, I would simply put my head down and shake it. like Because Diddy, you could have took our people to a higher level. You know, instead, it's like you attempted to have our people vibrating on a very, very minuscule, minuscule level. And seriously, before you had control of hip hop, Puffy, hip hop was militant. Hip hop was tenacious. Hip hop was basically Black Lives Matter in action. Hip hop was the first Black Lives Matter. And Puff, you know, I, I grew up not knowing who you were, just a fan. You've, I've heard so many allegations. I fought with brothers in jail because of the Biggie and Tupac beef. Yes, blood was shed over these wars for people that were not directly connected to that. Just off of, because I like such and such and you know, you're sitting around congregating about it, it goes left. And it was like that in the streets. It was very, very, very tough at one point in the streets. Uh, it was from, I'm talking about in the celebrity world, as well as the street world, it was going down. No, a lot of people don't know about the stories that were going around the industry with Suge Knight, Suge Knight choking Sean Puffy Combs out, choking him out. With the, and this is what led to the demise of Big Jake, one of Suge's partners at Jermaine Dupri's uh, party, birthday party. This is what led to the entire death row bad boy discrepancy. This is that was the birth of the, of it. And then you had the Shine incident. I'm sorry, before that you had Biggie, you know, the notorious BI. And all the indications are indicating that the notorious B.I. wasn't really feeling you like that. He, he was about to exit your company, as a matter of a fact. That's evident and confirmed by ex-bodyguard Gene Dill of yours. That's confirmed by Gene Dill. However, there were many other reports that the notorious B.I.G. was uh, tempting and about to exit bad boy. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't for you, Puff, the notorious B.I.G. probably would have been with Tupac because Biggie was attempting to be part of Thug Life. He wanted to be a part of the Thug Life movement that Tupac started, period. And Puff told Biggie, stop hanging around Tupac we gonna be on top, this, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. Biggie was telling Pac, like, yo, you know what I'm saying, Puff, you know what I'm saying, he be bugging, this, that, and the third, uh-uh. You already know, according to what's coming out now, allegedly about him, Puff be bugging, this, that, and the third. Pac basically like, yo, my G, I got you, you know what I'm saying, this, that, and the blah, 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 blah. 